a due season for change to appear. Job chapter 14, verse 14. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Job knew that change would come to him. To wait means to remain or stay in expectation of something. To wait means to serve the needs of others. To wait means to remain or stay in expectation of something. It means to serve the needs of others. There is no doubt about whether we shall see change. Change shall always occur. Change can appear in a good form or change can come in an evil or bad form, but change shall always appear. Change can appear in a good form or change can come in an evil or bad form, but be certain. Of a surety, change shall always appear. Change is a part of life. The good news for Christians is the good news for Christians is that they can determine the change that shall appear in their life. I shall prove what I say with the word of God. I shall prove that uh, the good news for the Christians is that they can determine the change that shall appear in their life. I'm going to give you the word of God. I'm going to prove what I say. The good news for Christians is that they can determine the change that shall appear in their life. There's no doubt about it, friend. Job chapter 14, verse 14, in part says, and Job is speaking, all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. The word change means to cause to be different, to be replaced by something else. A transition from one state, condition, or phase to another. The word change means to cause to be different, to be replaced by something else. A transition from one state, condition, or phase to another. And I say the good news for Christians is that they can determine the, the change that shall appear in their life. But friend, change shall always come. And change is a part of life. But the good news for the Christian man and the Christian woman is that they can determine the change that shall appear in their life. See, you might be in a bad condition now. You might be facing some things that, that are, are troublesome to you. you. You might be in an unhealthy state of being. That's right. You might be uh, in debt. You might be in poverty. You might be in despair. You could be lonely. You, you, you might... Uh, you could be depressed. That's right. But friend, change, I guarantee it by the word of God, change shall appear in your life. And I got good news for you tonight. I said a Christian can determine the change that shall appear in their life. And a man of God can speak a decree in your life, sir, 
even though you're not a Christian, and change, good change, shall appear in your life because the man of God decreed the word of God for God to perform in your life. But you shall see change. There's no doubt about it. Change shall come. It's a part of life. No matter how dark the night may be, a new day shall dawn, the sun shall rise, light shall come, and your change shall come also. Your change shall come. Psalms number 30, verse 5, in part says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's good news, friend, to know that you might be sad now. You might be in trouble. You, you might be discouraged. But uh, it's not going to remain that way, my friend, because of uh, joy cometh in the morning. Good news. You shall always reap in due season. If you don't give up, if you do not quit your well doing, you shall see an abundance in the place where you were in lack. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season. You know the word of God says, for in due season, the appointed time, the set time, see, we shall reap if we faint not. One thing we know, change shall appear. That's right. You shall always reap in due season if you don't give up, if you do not quit your well-doing. Now, we're talking about reaping well-doing here, friend. Mm -hmm. Because if you are doing good, friend, even though you're facing adversity now, you know, if you've been sowing, say, monetarily into the gospel and you're having financial problems, friend, in due season, you'll have your monetary harvest. There's no doubt about it because Galatians 6, 7 says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, Whatsoever includes all things, friend. Whether whether it's money, whether it's clothes, whether it's good, good deeds, or whether or whether uh, one is uh, sowing evil deeds, it says, "Be not deceived; God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap." Just a matter of time before your harvest shall appear. It's just a matter of time before you see. Your change, but your change shall come. Change shall appear. Change is a part of life. If you've been doing evil and look like you're prospering and everything going well for you, and you know what I mean, but I'm going to tell you something, friend. It's just a matter of time before your, your change shall come. Just a matter of time before change shall come. In other words, you shall reap the harvest of all your evil doings because you've been practicing evils. But now, now if you're practicing evils and you don't want to practice evils anymore, and, and it's wise to stop doing, doing evil deeds, friend. Ask God to forgive you. That's right, friend. So you'll be spared from the, the bad harvest that shall appear in your life. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. We must determine by the setting of our will that we shall hold on until we see the change that we desire to see. We must determine by, our, by setting our will, we must determine by setting our will that we shall 
hold on 